In this video, I'm going to be talking about explosion collisions and how to work out a calculation to solve for an unknown velocity. So first of all, we want to make sure we're familiar with all the concepts with uh, momentum and explosion collisions. We're going to take a look at how momentum is conserved and take a look at the momentum before the collision and how that is equal to the momentum after the collision in order to solve for unknown variable. Um, explosion, explosion collisions are basically collisions where things start together and then they separate. And actually in a lot of cases, we'll have two objects that are at rest that will both have a velocity of zero that will push away from each other and separate into opposite directions. In the case we're looking at with this one, um, both of the objects are actually moving and then they separate. And then in these ones, energy is not conserved. So we have a 60 kilogram skateboarder who is riding on a 2.5 kilogram skateboard. They're coasting along at four meters per second. So they're starting together. And then the skater jumps off, causing the skateboard to roll away at a speed of 10 meters per second. How fast is the skater moving after they jump off? So we're going to go ahead and set up our pictures, numbers, vectors. And after we complete the setup, um, then we'll check in to do the rest of the calculations. All right, now that I've completed my picture, um, we always set up a before the collision section and an after the collision section. And I draw a quick little sketch of all the objects involved. I put their masses right next to them and I make sure I include arrows just to see if there's any negative signs. In this case, it looks like everything is moving to towards the right in the positive direction. So I don't need to include any negative signs. If there were any objects moving to the left, then I would make sure to include a negative sign next to the velocity. Um, so now that we have all of our numbers, what I'm going to do is use the momentum formula. Momentum equals mass times velocity. And then use that three times for our different objects so that we can solve for the unknown velocity of the person. Okay, now that I finished my calculation, what I did is I combined the masses 
of both of the objects involved because they are physically traveling together. You can treat them like one big 62.5 kilogram mass and both of them are traveling together with a velocity of four meters per second and a total momentum of 250 before the collision. So since momentum is conserved, we know that if we sum up all the momentum of everything after the collision, it's gonna be equal. So we're able to set up a formula that way. And we have 60 times an unknown VF because we don't know what happened to the person, but we do know the skateboard gets kicked out at 10 meters per second and it still has a mass of 2.5. So we went ahead and we subtracted 25 from both sides and then finished off by 225 equals 60 VF. And then you divide both sides by 60 leaving you with 225 divided by 60, which is 3.75 meters per second. Now that we have our final answer, what I typically do is make sure that that velocity makes sense. And what I mean by that is that a person is going four meters per second initially. So if they kick the skateboard to the right, they're gonna get an equal and opposite force to the left. And also because the skateboard is gaining momentum, that means the person has to lose momentum in order to keep momentum conserved. So therefore, their four meters per second of initial velocity should have decreased some, but not dramatically because the skateboard is only two and a half kilograms. And it looks like it did just decrease slightly from four to 3.75. So that does make sense. Um, so just to recap, you wanna make sure you set up your before the collision, after the collision columns get your pictures with all of your numbers and variables written out. And then that way you can take your numbers and then just slide them directly straight down into the momentum equals mass times velocity formula. Do a little bit of algebra from there and then solve for your unknown variable. I hope that was helpful in helping you understand and calculate an explosion collision. Thank you for watching and listening.